Where you at, Peter Quillen? Boy, we ain't seen you since you got robbed by Daniel Jacobs. Where you at? What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another hot, fast track rundown edition of Truth and Facts. What do I always tell y'all, man? It's a good time to be a boxing fan. Lots of fights happened, went on over the past weekend, and if you miss it, I'm sorry about your life, dog. <laughs> but hey, look, 2016 is on its way out, 2017 is coming in, but we still got hot topics that we got to cover before this happens. And how do we kick things off? Always a good time to be a boxing fan. I'm always going to say that. We start things off with the big boys at the top, the heavyweights. Now, Joseph Parker, promoter, wants to call Al Heyman and make a possible unification fight with who? Deontay Wilder. Now, we all know just recently, over this weekend, Joseph Parker just recently won his WBO championship by beating Andy Ruiz, okay? Wilder, well, he won his title back in 2015, but he's recently been out because of a hand injury, and he wants to come back and make a big splash. What better way to do that? Well, hey, a unification belt, that always makes people happy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But the problem that we may run into is he's supposed to face David Hay, Joseph Parker, in 120 days. But hey, we all know he got his hands full in the fight going on right now with Bello. So, if you can't face Hay, he may have to face Hugo Fury. But his promoter is hoping that maybe a, a unification bout will make them not have to make that defense, all right? Let's keep our eyes on this and see what happens, okay? Next! Hey, Richard Schaefer is saying there's a new sheriff in town in Charlo at the 154-pound division. Now, Charlo won his fight. Richard Schaefer promoted this undercard. This whole card was promoted by Richard Schaefer, his new promotion company, to let everybody know he's back. When Schaefer was asked, hey, what do you think is next for Charlo? He said, hey, maybe he should face a guy that starts with a C and then an O. Now, we all know who he's talking about. He's talking about Oscar De La Hoya, all right? He even went on furthermore to poke a little fun at De La Hoya, talking about something, well, you know, if it's about the best versus the best and all, as he chuckled. But the big question mark is, will Oscar be willing to work with Richard Schaefer? Because we all know how that breakup went back in 2014 or something like that, okay? So let's keep our eyes locked in on that. 154-pound division, starting to shape up to be a big deal. All right, next! <laughs> yeah, Frank Warren has made an offer on the table for Brooks and Campbell to face Smith and Flanagan. Now, this is would be an all UK fight card, which would make it very, very interesting. As of right now, Frank Warner said, well, he hasn't had any response, but he made the offers on the table, okay? Good money was offered, was put out there to possibly see um, Liam Smith versus Kell Brooks and Flanagan versus Campbell, all right? Now, Campbell, we, I mean, I'm um, sorry, my bad, y'all. <laughs> we make mistakes sometimes, but we got to correct ourselves, all right? Flanagan is undefeated, okay? But... Smith and Brooks just recently lost in their in, in prospective fights. So this might be an interesting bout because both these dudes may feel they have something to prove. But let's keep our eyes on this because a lot of us would rather see Brooks versus man down, hands down. All right? Next! It's showtime. Is on record as saying, we ain't no longer the big the little brother no more. We are now the big dog of boxing. All right? Now, Steven Espinosa has come out and said that he feels Showtime is not possibly maybe could be the standard bearer, okay? Now, 2016 had its up and downs. We had some fights that, you know, we could have, you know, we could have went out, we went without seeing. And a lot of the pay-per-view on the cards that was backed back in 2016 by HBO, all of them was backed by HBO with the exception of one, which is Pacquiao versus Vargas, okay? And also, recently announced fights of Miguel Cotto versus Kirkland. Well, you know what? That ain't sitting too well in fans, all right? And rumors of HBO, and we all know about their budget cuts, okay? But Steven Espinosa is on track and saying, listen, we are now the big dogs. We put out some good fights. It's been some mismatches, and it's been some good fights we should have paid attention to. But all in all, they feel like they're the standard bearer for boxing right now, that they're the big men, that they're the big dogs of the market. And that could very well be true, especially if you consider the card that they put out for 2017. But hey, I want HBO to do good. I want Top Rank to do good. I want Golden Boy to do good. I want PVC to do good. Why? Because it's boxing, baby. And that's what we should want when we love 
the sport. All right, everybody, I got to go. Truth and facts. Yeah, no.